Fora TV. The world is thinking. Thank you. Um, so that's the video. Where the hell is Matt? Uh, it's been viewed over 17 million times since June of this year. If you Google my name, Matt, you get 174 million hits. The top three are me. <laughs> the New York Times called it an almost perfect piece of internet art. Almost. Uh, NASA declared it, they named it the uh, astronomical photo of the day, which is astonishing because it is neither astronomical or a photo. <laughs> But not everyone was crazy about it. Um, a handful of people <laughs> pointed out some flaws and inconsistencies in the video, uh, declaring that it was fake. Over the last few weeks, the chatter has been getting louder and louder. And uh, so I've decided to use this forum to make an announcement. Uh, we all know how easy it is to fake things on the internet. Uh, this video is no different. The whole thing is an elaborate hoax. <laughs> Um, <laughs> first of all, I I'm not a world traveler. Um, there's a carefully crafted bio out there about this disgruntled video game designer who quit his job and spent his life savings on a uh, trip around the world, just wandering the planet until he ran out of money. Um, the truth is, I'm an actor. Uh, I've never left the country. I'm terrified of flying. I had to take the train down here. Um, before making this video, my, my greatest professional accomplishment uh, was playing a corpse on CSI Miami, right there. But um, the unknown status that I had at the time really helped me. Uh, it was a boon uh, for, for landing this, this project, this gig. Uh, I was hired by a viral marketing ad agency in New York called Buzzbrain. Um, they chose me for my affably horrible lack of dancing ability. Um, and that's it, really. They put me in front of a green screen. Uh, you know, we shot for a couple days and the rest is history. Uh, but the execution was not flawless and the errors, as I said, did not go unnoticed. Uh, Strawberry Submarine here points out, uh, it was all done with Photoshop. Uh, really not as easy, as you might, not as hard as you might think. Uh, it was easily pulled off. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, so I'm going to show you how we did that. Sorry, I need these cards. So if you look closely at this image, we're going to analyze this a little bit. Um, <laughs> This image is supposedly shot at a primary school in Antisaranana, Madagascar. Uh, but look closely here uh, at this shadow from this boy, cast out from this boy on the far left. His shadow is going to the right. And uh, if you look over here at shadow B, his shadow is going to the left. Now, common sense dictates that's completely impossible. Totally fake. Uh, let's look at another one. Uh, this one. Uh, we, we learned as we were making this, this video that a crucial aspect in, in creating verisimilitude uh, is, uh, is the psychological effect of having words saying where I am. So this, this thing, I could be dancing in any rain-soaked alley anywhere in the world, but when you add the text, it's Zanzibar, obviously. It could be nowhere else. It's a psychological thing. One of the trickiest shots to pull off <laughs> was me dancing in this supposedly weightless environment. Uh, I'm actually underwater. And uh, to do this shot, we had to squeeze a hollowed out Boeing 727 into an Olympic swimming pool. As you can see in this unfiltered version of the image, here I am in a swimming pool. I nearly drowned uh, several times getting this shot right, and uh, it cost Buzzbrain a fortune uh, to get that plane in the pool. Um, but even that shot was a breeze compared to our greatest challenge, um, which was creating the impression that thousands of people all over the world were dancing with me. Um, to do that, we had to build uh, an army of animatronic puppets. <laughs> now, you might be thinking, uh, why build an army of puppets when you can just hire more actors like me? Uh, obviously, secrecy was of the utmost importance in creating this video. It's a hoax. You know, you want people to buy it. Uh, and as Walt Disney used to say to his staff, uh, animatronic puppets know how to keep their damn mouths shut. So we went with that option instead of hiring more actors. He was a cruel and paranoid man. So this is Larry, um, one of the base models we used to make the video. 
Uh, Larry appeared dozens of times throughout the video. Uh, we'd simply add skin and hair, and voila. <laughs> there he is uh, in Chicago, and, and here he is dancing in the finished clip. You can see him on the far right there, that's Larry. Um, and then uh, after the shot was complete, we'd uh, strip the skin and hair off of him, and uh, we'd put, put a new application on, and, and there we go again. <laughs> this is Larry in fake Papua New Guinea. Uh, and yeah, here he is again dancing with me. That's him on the left. You can see Larry again here. There he is in Montreal. Uh, there he is in Buenos Aires. There he is in Paris. Uh, that was him in North Korea. And then this is our Larry Jr. model. Um, the final bill for this video was, uh, was fairly high. <laughs> a lot of little details go into making a hoax that you can really pull off. Um, and I gotta give credit to BuzzBrain, they took a huge chance, and ultimately I do think it paid off. Uh, just a couple days ago, Time Magazine declared this the, um, the best viral video of the year. What a bunch of suckers. Um, so that's how we did it, and, uh, and it worked. Uh, even though the world's obviously far too dangerous and cruel and unfriendly uh, for something like that to happen, people bought it. They, they bought into the idea of watching this video, and they sent me responses by the thousands. Uh, people who were expressing profound joy uh, of feeling connected to the whole world uh, by, watching, um, by watching the simple act of uncoordinated, unselfconscious silliness shared by everyone. Um, and, uh, and it got me thinking from these responses, you know, wouldn't it have been cool if, if this was real, if it wasn't a hoax? Uh, it wouldn't really solve anything, it doesn't change anything, our problems are still our problems, but as cliche and as saccharine as it sounds, maybe there's some value in being reminded of the really basic stuff that we all have in common. Eric? Um, so now that I've come clean, if you don't mind, uh, I'd like to take a crack at the real thing. Uh, instead of using animatronic puppets for the first time, I'd like to ask you folks, uh, whoever among you is willing, to come on up on stage uh, and, and dance badly with me. <laughs> cool, all right, great. Carefully, you don't break anything, are we good? All right, so come on up. Do whatever your body feels like doing, it doesn't matter, you can't do it worse than me. Okay. You guys ready? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Thank you. He works for Adobe. Thank you for Photoshop. All right. Three, two, one, dance. 